They finished second in football and won the consolation title in state basketball. The Maniacs have had some solid teams over the past year, but none can manage to get over the hump and win a state championship. The baseball team was trying to do just that Saturday afternoon as they faced Nampa Christian in the title game of the 2A state tournament. No score, bottom of the second, the Maniacs get on the board with a runner on first. Zach Goodrich with a little grounder to third should be an easy out, but the throw's wild and Orofino takes their early run lead. Top of the third, the Trojans would even things up with the runner on third, Nick Henriksen's fielder's choice does the job and we're tied up at one all. It'd stay that way for a while. Both D's looking good. Nampa Christian with a great catch in right field here. This ball in foul territory, but ends the inning. But the Trojan bats couldn't get their couldn't get their couldn't get going against DJ Wright, who seemed only to get stronger as the game went on. Bottom of the sixth, Maniacs needing their offense to show up. Michael Welch gets him off to a good start with a single up the middle. Then after Welch advances to second on the overthrow, Rick Breeden does his job, advancing the runner on to third. That brings catcher Frank Haskett up to the plate. He comes through in the clutch. The single to right scores Welch from third. And the Maniacs take the lead. They'd only have to hold it for one more inning. And with two outs in the seventh right, gets the ground out. Maniacs win the state title, hanging on to beat Nampa Christian by a single run. After the game, we caught up with the guy who drove in that winning run, as well as Orofino's winning pitcher. I, uh, I think that was the most nervous I've ever been. But I just swung the bat. And it hit the ball, and it happened to fall in, I guess. I don't know. It was pretty, pretty exciting. It's the greatest feeling ever. <laughs> this is a perfect way to end my senior year. I'm pumped. Now, the 1A state.